Well, have you wondered how much longer the I-40 Crosstown will hold up? Okay, I do every time I <laughs> go, across, go it. across it. Yeah. Or what might happen if you exceed the weight limit posted on all those state bridges? Well, believe it or not, there is a whole science to how much something can hold before it breaks. Galen Culver went to one of the best labs in the country to see it happen. You want me to start? Sure. Okay. We walk on it, drive on it, construct buildings with it. About 2,000 pounds right there, 2,500. But Dr. Chris Ramsayer and other structural engineers here spend a great deal of time 4,700 PSI. Squeezing concrete. 4,500. Until it crumbles. We uh, tend to build things and then we destroy them. Depending on the type of concrete, it might even explode. 7,000 PSI. It's always cool to break things. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the fun of it. 80,000. In the real world, roadways, pillars, bridges. 160,000. They're all under some stress. 190,000. And over time, they break down. 280,000. But at the University of Oklahoma Fears Structural Engineering Lab, guys like Ram Sayer study very carefully how those stresses work, how decay works, and at what point exactly? 300,000. Will something like a bridge span just give way? At ultimate, which is the point you never want to see a, a bridge beam go to, uh, we had compression failure of the top fiber of the concrete, and that was that explosive disintegration. He's one of very few university professors who knows his way around a backhoe, but Ramsayer's team is also studying the effects of frost heave and moisture on housing foundations. He poured these, and now he's testing just exactly how much it takes to pull them back up. We build it. Um, and then we break it, take it to its limits, and study it during its failure. Testing limits and then surpassing them. Researchers from all over the world come in here, set up their instruments, and then put big things under great stress. By fully understanding what happens, come better construction techniques, better materials, plus the process is also really cool to watch. In Norman Galen Culver, News Channel 4, is this a great state or what? Maybe a guy thing, but that is cool. <laughs> the Fears Lab at the University of Oklahoma is special for another reason. The facility was built entirely from private donations. Last year, close to a million dollars worth of research went through that building. 